This is the English Literature Web YouTube channel. I am Professor L.V. Gaikwad is teaching today the poem Ice and Fire by Edmund Spencer. This is the part fifth. Here the poet is confident of the love that it changes anything on the planet of earth because the love resides in the gentle mind of the lovers. The poet has written here this poem structuring the metaphor. It means that the poet has used there the figure of speech and that is called the metaphor and that's why this poem has become metaphorical and it has uh, increased the importance of itself. To make adjustment in life, the understanding is a must thing according to the poet. The poet says that man should understand, a man or the wife should understand the husband. And in this way, if there is the understanding, then the life goes very happily. To support uh, his thought, he says through his images that the eyes can make silent to the fire. And in this way, if there is the understanding, then finally, the eyes can make silent to the fire. It says that the beloved or the wife can make silent to the lover husband or it is the capacity of the wife or the beloved who can make very silent to the husband. The poet has used the paradoxes here like the eyes and fire through which he has told us, the, us that the life runs with this controversial entities. Remember here the poet has used these uh, paradoxes uh, which are said in the form of the eyes and fire and with the help of these paradoxes this poem has become the typical poem. The poet is sad uh, that his beloved or his wife doesn't respond to his love so there is no understanding uh, between them. Remember the sadness or the grief of the poet is that his beloved is not understanding him or is not giving him the response in the sense of the love and that's why he says, says that he has been very much unhappy. The poet supports that the beloved should respond to his love so he has imagined such a masterpiece of understanding and knowledge to the world. So remember here this poet has given the particular knowledge or the particular masterpiece of understanding to the world because this poem is based on the philosophy of love. The poet is not cold towards his beloved regarding love making. Remember the beloved is cold romantic but the lover is not cold romantic. It means that the poet is not cold romantic. His wife his second wife is called romantic and that's why here the poet has used the controversial images and uh, through these images he has told the beautiful subject of living life. The beloved should, uh, should be like the poet or the uh, lover in love making to, to experience the real love. Remember here finally it is said that the duty of the beloved is that she should be like the lover or husband. It means that she should understand the love of the lover or the husband. Here today we have finished the part fifth also. Again we will come together with a new topic. Till then, thank you. Thank you very much.